Okay, we'll go ahead and get started uh, using the iPhone for the. So we come up and you can see it's a small menu, and we use a pen to um, change it. So the first thing we want to go to is the uh, load the motor layout. So go to menu. Um, go down to. See motor layout. See right now it's um, quad. Go down and we select track opter. Yes. Okay, that's showing the uh, rotation there. You can see the number three is going clockwise, which really doesn't matter, so that's okay. And the one I haven't set up is going counterclockwise. Okay, next I'm going to go to the mixer editor. If I can get back to it. Okay, then we go back, back again, we go up to uh, mixer, mixer Editor, it's hard to see the small settings. Okay, on this we want to change, I want to verify, we want to go to channel 4. So, uh, let's see. Go change. Okay, there's channel 4. Um, should be in the rudder, we want it to be uh, a negative 100 since we're using a digital server. That's my understanding. So get to rudder, and uh, then we want to uh, let's see, change it, and we want to go down. Hold it down, it takes a little faster. Want that negative. So you got that, and you click on the fourth one, it's done. Okay, the other thing I understand is that the uh, servo rate we want to change that to high. So next, next, change that. To high, and let's see. Back. So it looks like it's done. We'll go ahead and just verify it again. We've got channel one there. We're going to go to channel four. You can see I promptly did the wrong thing. 
should be going to uh, cha uh, change a negative 100 in its high. So that's done. Go back, back. So we've gotten that done. Okay, the next thing we want to do is do the ACC calibration. Okay, so can we do menu? And we're going to go up, enter. It says uh, continual wait five seconds to let the aircraft settle down. So place it on a to level. I've got this on level surface. Continue. Going through that. Continue. And continue. So we got that done. Okay, the next is uh, go to self leveling settings. I'm going to have to get in area of self web settings. Enter. Okay, I've been told that um, change the P gain from like 100 to 50 to smooth out the response. So I'm going to change that and change to go down to 50. So we've done that, we've changed that. Okay, and supposedly to fix it, we can check it after um, other things, the roll and the pitch, depending on you know, when we're flying it. The uh, roll is side to side and the pitch is back and forward. So you want to go a little bit forward or whatever. You want to use big numbers like 30 plus or negative 30 and check it. So we've done that, so we can get back. Okay, the next is under the miscellaneous settings, I understand, which I didn't see. So this is a little different than the when I saw uh, that was just really set the alarm in the server uh, servo filter but I don't see it there's miscellaneous okay we got the servo filter at 50 and they said you could change it to 70, but since it's uh, a digital servo, servo, I'm going to leave that the same. So I don't think there is any... Uh, alarm setting, I've got, got to add that to uh, that for it to show up, so I'm going to leave that alone for right now. All right, uh, then the next one is for stick scaling. Uh, 
Okay. This is pretty standard, I guess, for a beginner, so I'm going to leave that alone. But, um, I'm told you can slowly increase your yaw to 90 and your rolling pitch to 120 as uh, you get better. So I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, we have the mode setting. I have right now I've got the self level on the stick and I'm going to change that to aux and I've got that actually plugged in my gear so uh, change it to aux got that all right Next is to uh, calibrate the um, speed controllers. I'm going to check and see if I can get the, to connect. I've been having problems here. I don't see the blinking light. It's not getting power right now, so I may have to check and see what that is. Cause looks like it's not getting power, so. Looks like I'm have to check that out and get back. That's it for right now. If you would subscribe, uh, leave any comments, anything I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.